Trump can shove it with this gun control. Welcome to the Randall and Gill Show. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. So we know we just had the tragic happenings at Mandalay Bay, which is very, very upsetting that over 58 people were killed and going on 600 people were injured, which I think is ridiculous still. I don't know how the dude got level five weapon up in that place. And we know that we have the mental illness and the um, illegal drug usage epidemic going on amongst the teenagers, teenagers, the ones that weren't supposed to. Now we're looking at, I'll be honest with you, the Caucasian teenagers. That's what just blew up and went into the Family Magazine here for uh, October 2016. They put that in there. That's why I got those facts. Check it. 1.1 and some change million soldiers own guns because they're actively enlisted. Then you got another 1. Well, backwards, 1.4 are active and they have enlisted 1.1. So we're looking at 2.5 million people that own guns. Okay, United States uh, population is about 313 million with pro approximately 36% of those people, according to, I believe this was Forbes, where I got this information, that own guns and 3% of those 36 owning the most guns. First of all, these statistics are off because this is according to a Harvard study for the 3%. Y'all don't know how many people own guns. Most people that own guns don't even tell you they own guns because they just roll up on you with their guns. Mandalay Bay. Listen, it's in the Constitution that we have the right to bear arms. You take away people's right not to carry guns, but you're going to allow 2.5 million soldiers that can come back to American soil at any time, which is damn near 1% of the population, to go off and kill as many people as they want to if they go crazy, and they have access to level 5 weapons. 5. Numerology. That's aggression. So my point is this. No. That's not the answer because one person, every, let's say, every six or seven years we have a an incident like this. Then we go and take the guns away from everybody. I'm getting tired of the spoiled apples ruining the whole bunch. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to have at least three guns. And my boyfriend's probably going to have at least five. Five. Five, and I wish somebody would tell me we can't have our eight guns. That adds up to the figure eight, okay? No way I'm against it. Do you know why? Because also we don't even consider the Republican politicians. Those are probably the ones amongst the 3% that own the most guns. They have the highest percentage of the National Rifle Association. So why would we put the guns in the top 5 percentile of the nation? 3% of the people who own the most guns in the United States. Are you out of your mind? Yes, he is. We're under the presidency of Donald Trump. Gun control is not the answer. Therapy is. I told you that before. I think that everybody that gets a gun should have to undergo at least five or six sessions of therapy. Oh, that number just keeps coming up. Aggression. Aggression. In numerology it means aggression. Why doesn't the government put programs in practice instead of just prohibiting things all together? Because they don't want to have to answer any questions. They don't want to have to deal with you voting, doing this, doing that. Some things they just want to do because they've already been in place like a purge. It's happening right now. It's the purge. I'm telling you all, don't let this happen. We can get our pickets up. We can get the lobbyists under control. Uh, I'm not going outside the White House because, you know, it's a pretty dangerous city. But seriously, gun control, you can kiss my ass. This is the Brandon Gill Show. If you have something to say, say it. Share my videos. I get tired of y'all liking them and not doing anything with them. Facebook.com forward slash author Brandilyn Gill. Twitter.com forward slash Brandilyn Gill. Instagram.com forward slash Brandilyn Gill. I'm all over the place. I'm taking over the world. www.brandilyngill.com. Let me know how you feel about gun control. Like I said, Donald Trump, you can kiss my ass.